Okay, we are here at the big Morongo Canyon Preserve. It's pretty much, I think it's like a walking trail. So, but it's warm out, but it's shaded. It's, you know, it seems like it'd be kind of interesting to check out. Take it. We got. Oh, you could do multiple trails. I don't think we're gonna do uh, the uh, really, really long trail. <laughs> but we will. Uh, you know, looks like if we took the green trail, it looks like about a half a mile. Okay. So we want to just do that. Yeah. Um. Doesn't really give you, tell you. I mean, it gives you point whatever, point whatever when you hit certain areas, but or certain sections and points so many points long. So but it says marker distance. So these are right here. All right. So oh, maybe it's a point one a point two point two point three. So it's a little over, just a smidge over half a mile. Okay. So here we go. Let's. Uh, this is uh, some of the stuff we may or may not see. Some of the stuff we probably don't want to see, <laughs> but you know. Pretty. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is the entrance. All right. So we walked a short ways down the trail. We got some benches down here. And stuff, but uh, don't get me wrong. We see, you see how this is all wooden here. The we've seen a couple turnoffs for some of the other trails. They're not; they're actually uh, dirt little skinny trails. So, but not all like this. That is for sure. But we're just here checking it out. This is, they do have signs. You gotta watch because they do have signs for like mountain lions and stuff. I don't think you'll see any if uh, people are always coming through, but just something to look out for. See, there's signs posted like this when there's the trails to go, but as you can see, Besides this main one, most of them are not like this. They, you can see that the, that turns into dirt and uh, stuff over there. So, and it's more narrow, but off the main trail here. But this is okay. So we uh, went around. We're about at the beginning again. That was probably just a little bit over half a mile give or take and then I think the sign said it was probably just a smidge over half mile but it took a little less than 15 minutes probably like I said there's other trails you can take if you're if you're just looking for some walking and you don't want to have to drive too far if you're in the I don't even know what little town this is off of this is off the 62 off the 15 which is 62 north and it uh, basically you'll come to a little town that's right in there. I can't remember the name of the town, but you know, hey, <laughs> it's before you get to Yucca Valley. I know that. All right.